is this new Valor book out, Paper Flies for the Catskills. And I'm in this book actually a couple times. Uh, but um, there's this fly by Nicole March. See this right here? This moose mane. Right? Moose mane olive. And I was reading this description down here. And it was talking about um, a moose mane Adams that Dave Brandt came up with. I never heard of it. So I did a short video on my Instagram, a tying tutorial. And I was talking to Nicole afterwards, and she had mentioned that she wanted to tie it, but she couldn't really find any good good grizzly packle points. So, um, I want to go back to this, this other Vallow book. I feel like all I talk about is Vallow books on here. The, uh, at least when we're talking about dry flies. And I want to go to the Adams section, and I want to show you something here. It talks about like the three different styles of wing. And usually the 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 old ones, like the classic looking ones, are they're more of a fatter, fatter wing. And he's calling it the barnyard rooster. Now, you can get a fatter one if you go to a hen, but it doesn't have the same look. It's not, you know, a shiny or whatever. So um, what I do was, and what I was going to tell Nicole to do, is you get yourself, um, you get yourself either a wing burner. See, this is a wing burner. If you ever hear this, it's a it's a it's a tool to make a wing. So you put a, a feather in here, and and you put your lighter, and you light all around it, and it gets the shape of a of a of a wing. But all I really want is the round tip, or you get a round pair of tweezers. See a round tip pair of tweezers. See these ones won't really work, it's too pointy. But essentially, you get one of those and pretty much any single cape or neck, you're gonna find a feather that's gonna work. Now just lick it to bring all this stuff thinner. And I only use the wing burner, it doesn't matter what you use, but I've been using the wing burner. You put it in there, so that the, just the point is hanging out. See that? And what's great about this is, is that you're burning the end, and, and yeah, it's going to look a little black or singed, but it's grizzly. So. You can't tell. And that's it right there. So you got like a little curve curve in. Let me see if I can zoom me in. And that's that's what we made. And I'll even show you another good one to do. Let me show you with this is this is a um this is just a cape packle, right? And it's got these points on here, which is pretty pretty useless. Um, you, you really don't want to make anything out of this. But getting down here, it's not bad. So just, just look at bring all the fibers together. And we try and get it in here fairly straight. That's good. And you get yourself a rounder tip. This one's good, it's just stuck together. So, it turns a sharp end into a, into a round end. If you have two of these, you tie in the tip, and then you cut it off. Well, now you're left with this thing again, it's the same thing. So well, now you can take this, bring this in, and you can take one 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 cape feather and make you know however many long, uh, however long it is, you can just keep making wings out of it for the next fly, and it uh, it really works out. I mean that was jagged as hell, right? I just chopped it off, and now it's it's perfect. And the really cool thing though is is that even though you burn it. 
it doesn't matter. It's it, it just blends in. You can't tell that you burned it because it's a grizzly. That's a just a it's a it's a simple way to make uh, Adam's wings, and you can make as many as you want. You can make them kind of like all the same because you're using this, and or you're using a, a pair of tweezers or something. So give it a shot. That's uh, my Adam's Adam's wing tutorial, wing burning tutorial. All right, thanks.